Today for you I have the world's first mouse scanner, which is just a mouse with a scanner built in, so no prizes for guessing why it's the world's first. It sounds ridiculous but it actually looks quite cool, I bought this myself uh, because I need a small scanner at university. And it looks okay. Some of the reviews say it's brilliant, some of them say it is terrible. For example one on Amazon says this scanner is a nightmare, the cable is thick enough to anchor a ship and gets in the way of scanning, like fighting with an anaconda, so we will see how thick the cable actually is. So this is from LG, the LSM100, they call it a, a smart scan, a smart scan mouse scanner, that's it. Not the easiest thing to get into. There we go. Attention, how to take out mouse scanner. This is a bad design if they need instructions on opening the box. So we take this whole thing out first. Now let's see what we've got underneath. Uh, it has some numbers. One, paste text or the image to compatible program. Two, share. Three, apps. Four, save. Okay, it's labelling this the, the software, I guess. Now we have, looks like a little cleaning cloth. Smart scan, Windows version 1.5.1, Mac version 1.5.0. Warranty information. So we get a mouse mouse as well. So we're meant to open this bit where we find instructions. Okay, I see why they need instructions for this. This tears off like that. And we get a little pouch for the mouse. And the mouse itself with the cable that we can anchor ship with. It's not actually that thick. Obviously it's it's going to be a bit thicker than a normal mouse cable because it has a scanner in this. Um, but it's it's not anything ridiculous. And that's interesting, the, the velcro cable tie doesn't come off. So here's the mouse. Uh, we have two buttons on the side, scroll wheel, normal buttons. Then we turn it over and we have a scanner on the bottom, which looks really strange actually. I believe the way this works is once the software is installed you just move the mouse over the image you want to scan for a while like this and they call it real time scanning where it just I think they just mean it shows up instantly on the screen as you scan I'm not sure what the alternative to real time scanning is but there we go I will consult the quick guide, install the software and show you how it works afterwards I've been using it for a few minutes now and it it's okay uh, the quality is good the bad part is trying to scan it smoothly so it doesn't mess up the orientation of everything. Let me let me just demonstrate this to you. So to start scanning you press a button on the side and it takes over the whole screen. And you start at the bottom and smoothly work your way up. And if you can see on the screen it's scanning it in real time. You have to be careful to keep the, the page that you're scanning very still, otherwise it gets very confused. It seems to be able to, to look at what you're currently scanning and what it's already scanned and correct bits of it that are, that are wrong, things that aren't aligned properly. So. If you can see it, it's pretty much scanned the whole page now and bits of my desk as well. And I'm just going to stop there because that looks okay. Let me just get the top. And go across that bit again. Then we'll press the same button when we're finished. I don't use fancy screen recording software to video my screen. So we can see it has scanned this page from a Dell catalogue uh, magazine quite well. It's not perfect. It gives us the option straight away to crop it because obviously they expect you to have scanned desk around the, the image. If you can see at the top, if I zoom in a bit more, it's, it's not perfectly straight. 
the, the, this is this is what happens. Uh, you can you can see there the corner it should be straight, uh, but it's it's messed it up because when there's when there's text around, it seems to be able to figure out where things should be. It looks at a bit you scanned a minute ago and a bit you've just scanned and say yeah these are the same pieces. Let's rearrange all of the different images and make it all fit. But the corner where it's just white, it can't figure this out itself. And I've slightly moved the page as I've been scanning. It hasn't come out perfectly. But, it's not bad. Mostly. If you don't want perfect professional results, you just quickly want to scan something. Um, say if I just wanted to scan an image in the middle of the page, and I wasn't bothered about anything around it, if I just wanted these speakers, it, it would be great. The the quality is actually not bad, and then when we're done, we click OK, and it gives us the option to save it and share it and <clears throat> do a few other things with it. The the mouse mat, it, uh, let me just refocus a bit. It has this flappy bit which opens, and you can put something inside. Um, another page from a Dell magazine, and then you can scan stuff on here, and it, it helps you to keep it still. And since the this is really smooth, it moves across easily. The results of the scanner just. On a piece of paper, aren't too bad. They're pretty good. I think that the quality is great. It's mostly okay. The the middle is all fine. It's just the edges. It messes up. If you want to end up with a perfectly A4 sized image, then th this is not going to work. If you just want to scan things on a page, an image on a page, a bit of text on a page, and you're not bothered about the size of the page, and you're not bothered about the edges of the page. Then this is great. This is it. it it's it's a, just a small scanner. As a mouse, it's useless. It's really slippy. Your hand just falls off it, and it's just an awkward shape. So I certainly wouldn't recommend this for the the, the mouse part of it. Um, but for the scanner, it it's not bad. It's it's expensive, I guess. I got this for about fifty pounds. But compared to other small scanners on the market at the moment, it's not a bad price. So again, if you want professional results, then I wouldn't recommend buying this. But if you just want acceptable results from part of a page, then this is fantastic.